Hello, and welcome to a brief online tutorial on how to create univariate or one by one tables within the Ask Chis web tool. Once you've logged into the Ask Chis web tool, the first thing that you'll need to do is select a geographic area. When selecting a location, I normally choose nearby counties but you do have the option to select Los Angeles County Service Plan Areas or San Diego County Health Regions. If you don't make a selection, your location will be defaulted to the state of California. For the purposes of today's example, I'll go ahead and select a few Southern California counties, including Los Angeles County, Orange County, and San Bernardino County. I'll go ahead and click Next. And now I have the option to select a topic I'd like to look at. I'm going to go ahead and look at access and utilization for today's purposes and specifically looking at usual source of care. However, you don't have to select from amongst the options provided here. We do have the ability to do a keyword search. So if I wanted to search for usual source of care, I could do that here as well. Under the categories, it makes it easy to navigate and I can go ahead and click on any item I might be interested in. As soon as I click on that radio button, a list of details regarding that question will display. These details include the age ranges included in the group, as well as the years for which this data is available all the way through 2015 in this case. It also tells me a little bit about how the variables displayed as far as levels. In this case, we're looking at a, at a dichotomous variable with has usual source of care and does not have usual source of care. Once I've made that selection, I can click Next again. Once I click Next, it asks me if I'm interested in a secondary topic or a compare topic. For the purpose of this brief training tutorial, I won't be selecting a compare topic, but in our next video, we will select a compare topic to create a bivariate table. Next, I have the ability to limit my population, and I can move forward either by clicking next or by clicking on the limit population icon. Under limit population, I have a few options. I can limit by age range, gender, race, according to the Department of Finance's estimates, or federal poverty level. These are all really useful tools, useful ways of, of, of uh, classifying and, and, and stratifying your data. However, when you choose to limit a population, it will only display those groups you've selected, and it won't separate them out. So it's not going to display Latino versus white versus African American. It will group those together. So for today's purposes, I'm not going to limit my population. I'm just going to go ahead and click Get Data. Once I click Get Ta Data, our simple data table has appeared. Reading a data table in Ask Chis is fairly easy. The first number here at the top is our estimate. And in this case, the way we would read this estimate is that according to data from the California Health Interview Survey, so 2015 data from the California Health Interview Survey, approximately 84.3% of residents of Los Angeles, Orange, and San Bernardino counties have a usual source of care. And you notice here, a usual source of care is defined as a usual place to go when sick or in need of health advice. One function that I want to quickly highlight is we do have the ability to compare these geographic areas. You'll notice they were all grouped together, but maybe you'd like to trend across counties. We do have that option here. You'll notice each county has a separate rate. However, they are fairly similar. Directly beneath our estimate, we have our confidence interval, and this is a 95% confidence interval, followed by our estimated population size. So this is the number of individuals we believe in that county who fit in that group. Not individuals that we've sampled, but the actual population size. Thank you for taking a brief moment to hear about creating univariate data tables within Ask Chis. Hopefully, this has left you wanting more and you'll listen to our additional tutorial on how to create bivariate data tables and how to export data from the system. Thank you and have a lovely day.